<gasps> this one has a hole. This is an absolute fail. Ah! I don't know about you guys, but I have been obsessed with TikTok. Follow me, linked down below. I have everything from like dance TikTok to sway boys to cooking to literally everything across the board on my For You page. And right now I am particularly obsessed with the holiday viral TikToks that are going around. And I decided I wanna try and make some today. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Also, I'm doing Vlogmas over on my vlog channel, which means I'm uploading a vlog every single day. Pray for me and let's get started. We are going to begin with the, I feel like this is like one of the trendiest items of this season, which is hot chocolate bombs. I'm like mad at myself for not thinking about these earlier. You basically make like a chocolate ball and then you put it in milk and it becomes hot cocoa. I just realized we didn't get hot cocoa mix. Sarah! Do you mind going to the store and getting hot cocoa mix? We forgot. Yeah, no Thank problem. Thank you so just much. Just like standard. It's queen. Yeah, well, literally anything. Thank, Thank you so much. You're the best. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I forgot. <laughs> It looks like you take melted chocolate and you brush it onto a mold. And I think I got the exact same mold that these people used. And then you take it out of the mold after you let them harden. You fill it with the hot cocoa mix, which will be here shortly. Um, you can also fill it with like marshmallows and sprinkles and things. It, it looks easy, but I feel like also, I could also mess it up at the same time. Then you melt half of it so that they become like sticky and then they, put them together, you decorate the outside, and then you just plop it into some hot milk and apparently it's done. I mean, it looks easy enough to me. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so I've seen a bunch of people making these hot chocolate bombs on here and I need to give it a try. Let's see how it goes. Ah, I ticked out queen. Uh, <laughs> draft. Oh, I almost just carded, oops. I don't know how to work this out. <laughs> For this recipe, you're going to need chocolate or candy melts of some sort, hot chocolate mix, which will be here very soon. We've got sprinkles to fill with. We have little mini marshmallows to film with, anything to decorate with. And then of course the little sphere mold, which I will leave linked down below. These are silicone, so they're easy to like bend and snap. Let's go. <laughs> Pro tip, I'm using candy melts instead of normal chocolate chips because these things melt so easily and they harden a lot better than like normal chocolate. So cute. Our chocolate is melted. We have the little molds here. I put them on little baking trays so I can throw them in the freezer, maybe? I don't know. The thing with TikToks is they don't really give you that many directions. So I'm gonna take a brush and my melted chocolate and I'm going to brush the inside of these molds. I I hope this is right. I mean, yeah, right? Yeah. It seems almost too simple, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? I'll probably have to do a few layers because it's kind of thin, but I think you don't want to make it too thick because then it won't dry. Queen, Hello. thank you so much. She saved the day. The thank you, you're the best. Of course. She saved the day. All right, I did one layer of chocolate and now my intuition is telling me to put in the freezer so that it gets hard and we could do a second layer. So I'm gonna try to do that. Oh, wow, okay. Someone on TikTok said the swirling technique and that works way better. Oh my God, that's so much easier. In the freezer for a couple minutes. I wonder if the white ones are good already. Oh, <gasps> wait, they they're good? already good. Oh my God. Layer number two. Ooh -hoo. Hey. <laughs> I'm getting better. Yeah, they look good. This one versus that one. Oh my God. I'm like so impressed with myself. I really didn't have much faith. These are pretty good. I'm very proud. Now back in the freezer one more time. Woohoo! Time to assemble. We've got the little spheres. <gasps> oh my wait. God, wait. Now I think I'm just gonna clean it up a bit on the outside. I'm going to add the hot cocoa mix inside. So you wanna add like a spoonful of that. Also some marshmallows. <laughs> Oh, wait, I have Christmas ones. <gasps> oh my God. How could I forget? I have Christmas sprinkles. I was like, I know I'm forgetting something. <gasps> so cute. I almost don't want to eat them. Okay, now the big part. Follow me. I'm going to turn my pan onto really, 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 really low heat. You just like drop it for a second, I think. And then you like morph them together. Ah, it's working. Okay, little, little, little melt. And then press. Uh-oh. Oh no. Maybe, maybe do the other side. Maybe a little more. Oh no. No. Maybe a little more. <laughs> to do both edges together. But then how do you get the stuff inside? I think you do the edge and then put the stuff inside. <gasps> there we go. <laughs> like the 
Holy a chorus. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wait. Show us. Does she look good? She looks pretty good to me. So I messed up. But like it made it for an easy transition. I think my method kind of worked. Okay, we're gonna put this one down. Get this one hot. The two edges need to be flat and then you can go like this. <gasps> oh my god, I nailed it! And then we'll just decorate the top so you can't even see the side. Also on the white chocolate, you could do like a white hot chocolate on the inside and then you wouldn't have any hot chocolate on the side. This is so cute! Okay. Oh, oh this one's a good one. Thick one. Oh, perfect! Clean up the edge, maybe like put this around so it really seals. Boom! Okay, she's a little dirty, but we'll clean her off after. I'm gonna put it back in the freezer now so it like hardens, but not bad. <gasps> this one has a hole! Oh no, it hardened! Okay. Okay, we're good, we're good. She's patched. Okay, now with the black ones, I'm gonna try a different method. I'm gonna take both and heat them up at the same time and then fill them. See what happens. Heat in, little mix, little marsh, little sprinkle. Act quickly. Other one. Take it. Push. Okay, so my other method worked better. <laughs> we'll just fill her up again. Okay, I'm sad. You can't win them all. Little rainbow action, very cute. Now, I'm gonna do it how I did before. Why fix it if it ain't broke, you know? A little hot action, and then switch it, and then heat it up, press. Much better. Okay, I'm gonna melt these blue and these red ones for decorations to drizzle on top. Ooh, cute. A little makeshift pastry bag. So our bombs are ready. Honestly, the white ones turned out way better than the black ones. I don't know how these are like circles and these are like ovals, but either way, they're gonna be cute. So I melted up some red and some blue candy melts to drizzle on top. I put them in a bag and then cut the little tip off so we can hopefully drizzle. Oh, wait, <gasps> cute. It looks beautiful. That's so good. I'm impressed. Okay, I'm gonna do a red one too on the white. Very Christmassy. And then we can decorate them. I'll put this little guy on there. So cute. Ah! Don't fall. We got blue with a little sprinkle on top. Okay, now the final test. We're gonna see if it explodes in the hot chocolate. Yes. Honestly, these are cuter than any ones I've seen on TikTok thus, thus, thus far. Now for the moment of truth, we're going to test it. I think this one has blue sprinkles inside. We've got hot milk. We're gonna drop it in, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, oh no. Uh, <laughs> come on, 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 come Yummy. I think if we push it, oh, I mean. Kind of anticlimactic, but it was still cool. Yeah. Oh, where's our Santa? Oh, he's somewhere in there. I hear him. <laughs> Where are you, Christmas? Okay, wait, I want to taste test it. Should I try? Yeah. Okay. It's actually really good. <laughs> It just tastes, it tastes like really, really, really sweet hot chocolate. 10 out of 10, would recommend. That's really good. If I had to try one more, we have a black one here. Three, two, one. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. If I ask nicely, please. Yes, there it is! Oh, it's perfect. Oh my God. Next up, we are going to make Christmas cutout cookies, which I've seen so many people reacting to these and this went so viral, so we'll see how this goes. All right, we got candy cane dust and then we have sugar cookie dough that we roll, Oh, we roll in and chocolate cookie dough, which we then press them out with the bottom of a glass, interesting. Cut them out with the glass, oh that's cute, and then flip them out with a little cutout of the chocolate cookie and then the peppermint cookie. You bake them and then that's it. All right, I'm going to take a glob of sugar cookie dough. I just bought the pre-made stuff. Feel free to use whatever you want. And then I'm gonna roll it in a ball and then the girl rolled it in the peppermint, which this sounds so delicious. I don't know why I've never done this before. I'm gonna really get her in there, you know? We got three that are peppermint and then I found this brownie cookie dough that I'm gonna use as my chocolate cookie mix. Now I'm gonna take the bottom of a glass and you press down on the cookie. Oh, wow, it looks like the video. Hello, hello. Sir. There we go. Oh, perfect. <gasps> oh, wait, they made it look way easier on TikTok. This one's so sticky. These ones we're just gonna form ourselves, flatten them out into little cookie shapes. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, there we go. I'm just improvising here. The brownie cookie's so sticky. I'm just gonna put a little flour on top. I'm gonna cut the 
perfect little cookie circles out. They're so cute. I've got my little cutout. It's a little big, but I think it should work, maybe. Okay, press it down, I think. How do you do this? Wait, I think it's just a stamp. It's not a cookie cutter. <gasps> ah! Oh, and then you go like this. Stamp it out. Pull it, uh, oh shoot, come on. Come on, little guy. That works. We can go like that, and then we flip them and put it, okay. Wait, wait. Remy. wait. So cute. I have a feeling they're not gonna look good after they bake, but they look cute as hell now. Nestle her in, get all cozy, baby. Oh my. God, wait, they're so cute! Look at that! I'm so excited! All right, we're gonna bake them for like 15 minutes at 350 and say a prayer. Okay, the timer went off, the moment of truth. Let's open this together. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, you know, not as bad as I was expecting. They smell amazing. They're kind of cute. Okay. So the difference is this was like a brownie cookie and then the sugar cookie was a normal sugar cookie. So the cookies fanned out, the brownies didn't as much and that's why this happened. But like kind of cute. I give them like a solid seven. Okay, the last one we're gonna do is a melted snowman cookie where you take a pre-cooked sugar cookie, put a marshmallow on top, hair dry it to make it like malleable and soft. I have Oh, you gotta use a hairdryer because if you use a blowtorch, it'll burn. That makes sense. Okay. Then you uh, cover it in white chocolate and then add little eyes and a little hat and then a little nose with an orange sprinkle and you're good to go. This one's really cute. I just don't know if the hairdryer is gonna work. So let's see. All right, so for these snowman cookies, I already pre-baked some sugar cookies and I let them cool. Now we're gonna take a marshmallow and put it on top. Now apparently we take a hairdryer and heat up the marshmallow. I feel like the marshmallow's gonna go flying. Yep, oh. <laughs> Wait, how did she do that then? Ow. The thing is these TikToks don't tell you anything. I'm gonna cut the bottom of it mm. so it's sticky. Okay, let's see now. No! Hello? You know what, I have some melted white chocolate here for later, but I guess we gotta use it now. Chocolate on here. Okay, there we go. Oh, she is melting now. Whoa, you can like see it moving. It looks so good. They're all moving. Is this a stupid one or is it just me? No, this, I feel like that one's not really working This doesn't well. make any sense. You know what? Okay, whatever. We're just gonna go straight into the next thing. Oh no. Does that come off? Yeah. Oh, poop, I didn't even think about that. What a fail. Okay, whatever. We'll just go like this. Wait! <laughs> This is an absolute fail. Maybe if I like drizzle it on top. Oh yeah, smart. I don't know who made this, but she totally lied to us. Poor little snowman. We can salvage these. Totally. The trick is to put it all on top of the marshmallow so it like funnels around the sides and then you push it off one side of the cookie. They're all covered now and then now we add on a little hat. Hers looked way better, I'm just saying. <laughs> this one, ma'am. R.I.P. Wait, I was losing. Faith, but they're kind of cute. Ah, he's so cute! Okay, I take it back, I take it back, I take it back. Oh, in a split second. <laughs> we just completely changed our minds. Zero Are they cute? I like them a lot. Yay! Yeah, and then last but not least, we have some little snowflakes. Oh, that's cute. That really finishes them off. <gasps> Olaf! Oh, these are cuter than hers now. It's not the competition, <laughs> Remy. <laughs> All right, guys, that wraps up our testing holiday TikTok treats. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a wonderful time. If you're a TikToker and you make these videos and you're watching this, please add more instructions for me next time. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Be sure to check out my vlog channel. I'll link it down below. Follow me on TikTok, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.